As Africa continues to develop, large infrastructure projects are starting to pop up over various parts of the continent, which is good for any developing region. These projects come with lots of benefits, such as the fact that they help to provide jobs, and has a lot of economic benefit as well which justifies the huge costs and resources it takes to construct these projects. In this video I am going to show some of the major projects that will have a major impact on Africa. The Standard Gauge Railway is a modern railway system that runs from the port city of Mombasa to the capital city of Nairobi in Kenya. The project, which was completed in 2017, is intended to provide a faster, more efficient mode of transportation for both passengers and cargo. The railway covers a total distance of 472 kilometers and features modern trains capable of reaching speeds of up to 120 kilometers per hour. The project has already had a significant impact on the Kenyan economy, reducing transportation costs and improving connectivity between the coast and the interior of the country. The lagos Kalaba Railway is a proposed railway system in Nigeria that will run from Lagos, the country's largest city, to Kalaba, a major port city on the Atlantic coast. The project, which is currently under construction, is part of a larger effort to expand Nigeria's railway network and improve transportation infrastructure across the country. The lagos Kalaba Railway is expected to cover a distance of over 1,400 kilometers and will provide a faster, more efficient mode of transportation for both passengers and cargo. The project is seen as a major investment in Nigeria's economic development and has the potential to drive growth and create jobs in the region. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, JURD, also known as the Grand Dam, is a massive hydroelectric dam currently under construction on the Blue Nile River in Ethiopia. The project, which began in 2011, is expected to have a capacity of 6,000 megawatts and provide much-needed electricity to Ethiopia's national grid. The dam has faced controversy, however, as it has raised concerns over water security for downstream countries, particularly Egypt and Sudan. Despite these concerns, the Ethiopian government remains committed to the project which it sees as a key driver of economic growth and development in the country. The Dangit oil refinery is a massive oil refinery under construction in Nigeria, set to be one of the largest in the world. The refinery is being built by the Dangit Group, a Nigerian multinational conglomerate founded by Aliko Dangit, Africa's richest man. Once completed, the refinery is expected to have a refining capacity of 650,000 barrels per day and produce a range of petroleum products from gasoline to jet fuel. The project is seen as a major step forward for Nigeria's domestic refining capacity, which has traditionally lagged behind demand and forced the country to import a significant amount of its petroleum products. The Grand Inga Dam, also known as the Inga 3 Dam, is a proposed hydroelectric power project that would be located on the Congo River in the Democratic Republic of Congo. If completed, it would be the largest hydroelectric power plant in the world with a capacity of up to 40,000 megawatts. The idea for the Inga Dam dates back to the 1970s, when the first phase of the project was completed. Since then, several additional phases have been proposed, with the Inga 3 Dam being the most recent. The project has faced numerous delays and setbacks over the years, including political instability in the region and financing issues. Proponents of the project argue that it has the potential to provide much-needed electricity to the region and could help to alleviate poverty and improve living standards. However, critics have raised concerns about the environmental impact of the dam, as well as its potential to displace local communities and exacerbate existing social and political tensions in the region. Despite these concerns, the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo remains committed to the project and has signed agreements with several international partners to help finance its construction. While the future of the Grand Inga Dam remains uncertain, it is clear that it has the potential to be a significant source of clean energy for the region, as well as a key driver of economic development. The Mambilla Hydroelectric Power Project is a proposed hydroelectric power plant in Nigeria 
set to be one of the largest in the country. The project is located in Taraba State and is expected to have a capacity of up to 3,050 megawatts. The project has been under development for several years, with plans to provide much-needed electricity to Nigeria's national grid. The Mambilla Hydroelectric Power Project is seen as a key driver of economic growth in the region, with the potential to create jobs and attract investment. However, the project has also faced challenges, including funding and environmental concerns. Kanza Technology City is a planned technology hub in Kenya, located about 60 kilometers south of Nairobi. The project, also known as Kanza Technopolis, aims to create a world-class technology hub that will drive economic growth and innovation in Kenya and the wider region. The city is being built on a 5,000-acre parcel of land and will feature a range of modern infrastructure and amenities, from high-speed internet to green spaces. The project has already attracted significant investment from both the Kenyan government and private sector and is seen as a major step forward for Kenya's technology industry. The Bagamoyo port is a proposed deep sea port and special economic zone in Tanzania, intended to serve as a gateway to East and Central Africa. The project, which has been under consideration for several years, is expected to have a capacity of up to 20 million 20-foot equivalent units twos per year, making it one of the largest ports in Africa. The development of the port is seen as a key driver of economic growth in Tanzania and the wider region with the potential to create thousands of jobs and attract significant foreign investment. However, the project has also faced criticism over its potential environmental impact and concerns about debt sustainability. The new capital city is a planned city currently under construction in Egypt. Located between Cairo and the Suez Canal, the project, which was announced in 2015, aims to alleviate congestion in Cairo and provide a new administrative and business hub for the country. The city is being built on a massive scale, with plans to eventually house up to 6.5 million people and feature a range of modern infrastructure and amenities from green spaces to smart transportation systems. While the project has faced criticism over its cost and potential impact on surrounding communities, it is seen as a major investment in Egypt's future development.